So let's start our show with the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. It's become one of the leading film festivals, and this year's tributes included Kristen Stewart, Penelope Cruz, and Javier Bardem. One of the films featured on this year's festival is Pasong in the Shadow of Everest. We sat down with the director to shed light on this inspiring true story. Well, my sister uh, married a, a man named Ang Dorji Sherpa, and uh, he is a Sherpa. They're living in the Bay Area near near where I live. And we went out for dinner one night, and uh, Dorji told me about his sister. It was this amazing story about the first Sherpa woman to summit Mount Everest. And he told me about how she's a hero in Nepal. She's really one of the... the the most uh, well-known uh, contemporary heroes, and yet nobody had ever told her story outside of Nepal. Uh, she has a life-size life -size statue in Kathmandu. There's a mountain named after her, a road, a, a school, a hospital. Uh, she's, she's a household name in, in Nepal. I think Pasong's story is is one that lets the world know the power that just one woman or one individual can have. Uh, she was someone who whose story was really lost to history. I think uh, you know it happened a long time ago in 1993, and you know she had to overcome so many obstacles that were stacked against her as a woman uh, in a male-dominated society, as an ethnic and religious minority. She was a Buddhist. Sherpas are Buddhist, and Nepal at the time was a Hindu kingdom, and and so she was she was really fighting not only her family and her government and and you know the, her place in society but the mountain itself um, and all of the harsh conditions that Everest brings and so I just I really felt that this was a story that needed to be captured and needed to be you know secured for history and and I'm so happy to be able to share it now with the world. I'm trying to think of a time when a woman goes after her dreams and her character is not questioned, when her motivation is not questioned. I had heard about her dream and her challenge of being the first Nepalese woman to climb Everest. It's hard to imagine how many barriers she had to overcome. She was an ethnic minority, she was a woman. I'm sure she was rightfully outraged for not being allowed to go to the top of Everest. So it is natural for her to show the rest of the world, say, listen, I can do this myself. And in a male-dominated society, she spoke to the hearts of many women at the time who had no courage to do what she was doing. Instead of just sitting and being patronized. She's actually talking back and letting the Prime Minister know what she thinks. I don't think Pasang was very involved politically before that, but after 1990, everything that anyone did in Nepal had to be thought about in political terms. <laughs> Climbing Everest is a physical and mental marathon. As a Sherpa, that's how we live, working as a guide. Pasang Lamu spoke of herself as representing the Sherpa community, but also uh, representing Nepali women. That must have turned some people's world upside down. I think my mom was so ahead of her time. The day she went for a summit, all of a sudden the weather was changed. 